Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So we have completed the Pinia uh, state management pattern and all those things. So so far, those are the main concepts which are involved in the get in the Pinia state management. Now it's time for us to do a sample project. So we'll try to do a sample simple project with authentication and all those things. And we'll cover all the concepts which we have learned earlier in our UJS course. So I will be starting a simple project. I will not take too much. So I will start a simple project and I will do the login authentication and all those things in that project. And we will see how the project will be. So as it's simple, I am creating a notes list, something like that. So we will do. So here I am creating a new project. For creating a new project, what do we need to do? So we need to do the command npm init view at the rate latest. So this is the command for the view 3. So I will be going little bit of uh, fast from this video onwards. Why? Because we already know the concepts. So just what I need to do is I need to start, I need to create the project. I need to, I, and I need to show where actually the concepts exactly fits in the project. So in the real time, how we will be using all the concepts, what we have learned. So those things we need to understand it. So that is the reason I am creating. And here I will be creating a notes list, simple, uh, simple thing, notes list type and view. And I type script, no, JSX support, no, rotor we will install it manually. Pinia will install it manually and unit testing and all those things is not needed. So this is the simple project. So notes list. So we will go notes list here. What I need to do. So here I will be doing NPM install and let it install. So this is starting project. So how we will be creating the project is starting this one. Simple notes list means so we will be adding some text here and we will be showing at the text at the bottom and we'll do the edit and delete and all those things we'll cover it. And we have here we have created. So let's open this one in the visual studio code. And also what I will try to do is I will commit this all the code in the GitHub branch, GitHub link. And I will share the link with you in the description below for this project. So whoever I have is following my course and my project and all those things, if they are practicing means if they want to refer the code, which I am doing in the videos, you can go to that GitHub link, which I will be providing in the description below. So now we have created the project. This is all the project. So what we need to do. So let's, let's run this project npm run dev. This is the command for running the project. So if you run this project, now what we can do, we are able to see this one in the Chrome. Now the project is successfully running. So this is the local URL, which you need to open. Now here, if you try to open here, this is the thing we are able to see. So now we have successfully started the project. Now first what we need to do. So we have did it. Now we need to, uh, we have uh, run it here, right? Now we need to install the view router for installing the view router. What we need to do. So let's go to the here and let's type the view router. So this is our uh, command, right? So this is a view router. If you try to see the view router website and they will be providing the NPM command. So for which we need to run. So this is the command we need to run. So let's copy this one and install the view router in our project. So now I'm installing the view router. So this is just a uh, setup, uh, the project setup, which I am trying to do it. Afterwards, we'll do one by one in this project. So now let's rerun the project again. So after rerunning the project, what we need to do. So let's go here. And we'll open the main.js. Anything in this mean the main.js, what we need to do? So we need to create the routes. So for creating the routes, what we need to do is so here I will be creating a view file, you know, a folder. And here I'll be having a views. So here I'm maintaining the all the pages in a views. So we can you can have the pages for you can also create the folder with the pages name also. That's up to you. So that's uh that's up to you. And here, what is taking so much of time? I think we have created the so views has been created and here I'll be having two pages notes view dot view and another one which I'll be creating is the stats stats view dot view. Okay. So these are the two pages right now. So to my going on going on, if you need any pages, we'll try to create it. Now at the last, what I want to do is, so now we need to create the router. So for creating the router, what I will do is, so here I will create a separate file router okay and here in this router i will create a new file index.js whatever the name you want you can create it and here i can have a constant routes file so this is our routes file okay i am creating the routes in a separate folder too normally in the previous video in the previous concepts when we are learning about the router i have created all the routes in the main.js only but this time in order to keep the main.js file clean so I am writing all the code in a separate file and I will import this file in the main.js. Now you'll be having a router. 
so right now we don't have any routes we'll discuss it we'll do it so create router so this should be imported from the view router and this takes the object first one is the history so history so this one you'll be having two things create web hash history and create web history so web hash history means you will be getting the hash icon okay you will be hitting the hash icon uh, after the url path or otherwise if you do this create history means what you will get is you will not get a hash thing okay this purely the path how the url path how you want to get it so like that you will get it so right now we will we will be taking only web hash history if you want you can take the web history also not a problem now the another one is routes so we need to have a routes right so we need to give the routes so right now we don't have any routes so this is the router and what we need to do is we need to diff export the router okay so this is how we will be creating the router now what i want to do here so now we need to use this router so here first we will we'll have path okay path is equal to slash and the component that needs to be loaded is the nodes view nodes view i think it will come or not okay and here I, can, I will import this nodes view nodes view from and this should be somewhere in the views and the nodes view dot view okay and in the same scenario you need to have a stats view stats view and this should be imported from the stats view dot view so these are the two pages which you are having and we can have a name for this one so that we can use the name so that should be a nodes and the another path which we need to have is the path slash stats and here you'll be having the component component is the stats view sorry component we need to have is the stats view and the name should be stats so these are the routes and we are imported the routes okay fine let's use it in the main.js so here what you need to do i need to import this router so import router router from and you will be having in the router slash index dot js if you want you can add it or otherwise not needed and here we need to use uh, what i need to do here uh, <clears throat> so we can have it here something like constant app is equal to create route app and here you can have app dot use you can also use the chaining also not a problem just i want to have an elaborate thing so that is the reason i am using app dot mount okay now router has been injected let's rerun this one if I rerun this one nothing happens hopefully at least one template okay fine so it is expecting the template so we are having this notes view and all those things in the views right so notes view we will be having a template okay and here i will be having a do page and we'll be having another one stats view so here i will be creating a template and do stats page that's it now if you see the output we will be able to see the output without any problem we am thinking so like that yeah we are able to see the output so let's go to the app dot view and now we need to clean this app dot view clean this app dot view or otherwise we can have this app dot view uh, we can remove the script code so we don't want the script code and we don't want this script setup also and here in this uh, header and all those things we can remove this header and we can have small div so for in, in order to load these all the routes and all those things we need to have a router view okay so you can have like this router view or otherwise a router hyphen view also you can keep it and we can remove these all styles also it's not a problem okay now this is a simple thing and if you see here it is happening here refresh here everything is there okay so we'll delete everything yeah now if you see the output hopefully this one this time it should work yeah nodes page we are able to see at the at the middle why we are getting in the middle is in the main.js i think we are uh, loading this main.css right yeah. okay. now hopefully this one comes at the top yeah we are able to see the nodes page now let's add the two routings which we are having the routings we'll add it the index.js not in the index in the app.view and here i will be having one view so for adding a links and all those things what we need to do router link so we can have like this and two so two which should, where it should go name is equal to uh what is that one nodes right 
and we can close this one notes and another one is the stats and this one should be stats okay total link two and stats now if you see the output so both are coming stats and notes everything is loading perfectly but we'll have some gap between these two so i will keep some uh, like this yeah now notes and stats these are the two pages which we have added now successfully we are able to see the two pages now we have done the basic thing so these are the two pages which we are having in our project and we have done the basic thing we have created our view project and we have created the view router and we have added the view links and all the things and we are loading the router view okay hopefully you understood about this basic project setup so what i will try to do is in you in front of you only i will commit uh, github.com slash so we will be having our main profile page i will create the new project okay so where is uh, where is how we can create the new project i didn't remember exactly repositories let's go to the repos so here i will create a new repo so this one is the notes list hyphen u okay view and this is our project everything is okay public and all those things fine for reference purpose only right so we have already the existing project yes this is our existing project and go here and uh, let's in initialize this github now if you go into this one let's copy the first one and let's paste this one yeah here Ooh, okay so if you type this command i don't know what it is so git branch hyphen m let's go to here everything is added here we will try to do it yeah initial or otherwise video remember exactly so in the main only i will try to commit it initial commit okay this is our main initial project which we have deleted now initial commit i have committed this one i am committing in the main folder and publishing this branch that's it so now if you want to have a reference for this code and all those things you can go here and this is our link i will provide this link in the description below so you can refer this code so this is our project which you are trying to do everything will be covered in this one hey why it is taking this much of time i don't know still committing i don't know why this much of time it is taking. yeah it's committed now now if i refresh this page yeah so this is the code i will pay i will provide this one in the url and you can check this code this is our branch branch this is our project if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you